now, our Metro Mix CD dude, Matt Amato, certainly knows what is in and what is out in the world of music, and we're always so happy to have him here on the couch. What's up, Matt? How are you? It's very hot today, isn't it? It is very yeah. hot, yes. Before I came to the studio, I thought the same thing. Um, well, you can tell us about, since you're here, Matt Ebert, right? That, that's right. Matt is um, of a local. He's from Gainesville, Georgia. Okay. And he has been around the music scene for... A uh, few years now, and this is his third album. It's also his hookiest album. Yes, I like that we're talking word. about. Hookiest. And, um, I, what I really liked about it, it was it was a basically his most complete album. He'd done a couple EPs before, and this was a much more um, polished piece of work, if you like. What kind of music is it? It's it's actually he draws from quite a lot of influences. Uh, he says himself that he's very influenced by people like Miles Davis, and uh, I think we just mentioned Miles Davis CD that yeah. just come out. And I think what it really well, there isn't so much Miles Davis because it's not a jazz album. It's the more of the willing to experiment nature that guys like Miles Davis had, because his voice is very much kind of like Joe Cocker. So it's either really? you love it or you hate it type voice. Right. And <laughs> I like that sort of guttural sound of, yes. of Joe Cocker's voice, and and Matt Ebert certainly has that. Um, the music itself has elements of soul, funk, um, and alternative, and it's, it sort of weaves together very well. And the title, the album is called Snakes and Tornadoes, That's correct. correct? And he's got some interesting song titles? Yes. Um, <laughs> Don't they all? It seems like every week you're telling me titles, well, and I'm like, how did they come up with that? Were they drunk? Is that bad to say? Well, I, I think well, I did ha actually uh, share a beer with him the other day. You the first did? time I wow. met him because uh, I lost his, initially lost his CDs. He had to meet me to get another one. He's like, well, let's meet the Earl in East Atlanta. But um, he, this album basically documents a, a very tumultuous relationship he had, seven year relationship mm -hmm. that ended in. So we say acrimonious terms. Oh, yikes. And okay. So there's a very sort of honest feel to it in that well, respect. We can't wait to listen to it. Awesome. Oh, and it's a free album for download. So everybody's suffering in the economy. It's a free album, and it's on uh, myspace.com slash experience ebert. Experience ebert. Awesome. Sounds like a great one. Well, thanks so much for being here. We'll see no you next problem. week. No problem. See you next week. Okay. Don't forget, for CD reviews and other information on music, movies, upcoming restaurants, or any other fun thing that's happening around our great town, just go to atlanta.metromix.com.